So going through high school and college, did you date? Did I date? Yeah. yeah. Look, I wanted to date uh, badly. <laughs> I wanted uh, the affirmation of someone, um, you know, and, and I think I'm not, you know, not everyone looks for a spouse, but I certainly was. And uh, definitely uh, I felt like I was shorthanded uh, in the competition out there. I had asked several girls out during the uh, the high school years of mine. Right. And uh, they all said no. And then there were some girls that liked me who asked me out. And I'm like, no, sorry, I don't feel anything. So it wasn't <laughs> like it was weird on that. So it wasn't it was interesting. Uh, there was one relationship that I did have. Uh, someone that I did meet before I met my wife, and uh, I we that was a difficult five or six year kind of process for us uh, in finding out that unfortunately that we wouldn't be together. Uh, but but she has her own family now, and I have mine. And uh, it was uh, in 2010 that I met my amazing wife Kane. Uh, she's half Japanese, half Mexican. We call that Japsican. <laughs> and we met actually at an intimate speaking engagement and it was love at first sight. I looked at her, she looked at me and I couldn't feel my legs. Amazing. And uh, <laughs> it, she's incredible. She's incredible. She's beautiful too. So, but let me ask, like when you, yeah. while going through high school and college, were you afraid to approach women? Uh, at, at times I was, but at that time, I have to say that my confidence was much greater than it was in elementary school. Yeah. You see, at that time, 15 years old, um, was when I started my faith journey, got my soul and spirit aligned. And then the renewing of my mind was happening over the age of 15, 16, 17. At age 17, I did find that I was pretty good at mathematics and speaking. And pivoting on that, I then got voted on the student government, uh, kind of as a vice president, and, and, and had some good like, uh, how would you say clout with everyone? Yeah. Everyone knew that I basically tried to just get along with everyone. And at that time I had confidence. So no, I wasn't shy at the time. Let's just say that. I know guys who have both legs, both arms, and, <laughs> and they are afraid to approach girls. It's hard for them to get a girl. Yeah. Look, you, you gotta, you gotta understand that no one can do it for you. Your mama ain't going to come and say, hey, you should go and talk to so-and-so's daughter. You're going to get up, man, and, 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 and put yourself out there. Do what you only feel is comfortable. But understand, look, I tell teenagers and young people all the time, uh, my twin daughters, I've got twin, identical twin daughters. They're two years old. They're never going to have a boyfriend. They're going to be looking for a husband. Yeah. And they'll, I'll, let them, I'll let them go out for a coffee with someone when they can say, daddy, I think I'm of age to take someone out to coffee because he actually might be my future possible soulmate and, and, and father of my children. Uh, we were taught that way. There's no yeah. dating. Yeah. Uh, and, and sex man is the biggest distraction for these, uh, for any young person where we get so emotionally entangled where even even I'm not just saying in category of which gender, but let's just say that it feels as though that if I can please my boyfriend or girlfriend this way, then then that makes me feel needed and wanted when we understand sex itself ain't love. That's right. You can sleep with anyone you want as many times you want, still yeah. wonder, do they love me? So coming back to the truth of who do I want? And just recently on my podcast, we're, we're talking about short term needs. You know, sometimes we have this ideology of what this person kind of looks like, uh, how they should look, how they should laugh, how much money should ha be you know, in their bank account. But in the end, even if Prince Charming comes, it actually may not be what you need. Yeah. And so coming back to a self-awareness of your personality, is it that you have a gift and passion in something wherein you may need someone to have that common interest to help you accomplish that and complete your life? Or... Is it someone that we take time to realize, oh, my gosh, I may need someone who doesn't think like me, who doesn't look like me, you know, it doesn't come from the same background as me yeah. to compliment me in the strengths when I'm weak. So it's understanding it's the facade. It's the outside. Uh, it got nothing to do with who you actually may end up with and what we actually need. 
So how did you meet your wife? Your wife is a beautiful lady. Uh, she is. How you. did you meet her and what made her say yes? I love these questions. Um, <laughs> so we met uh, at, at, uh, in Texas and uh, at a small engagement uh, and we were all dressed up. It was uh, uh, at the time I felt chemistry, really complicated story. I'll simplify it. She had a boyfriend at the time and I found out later. Right. Her former boss wanted to hook me up, get this, not with my wife, but my wife's sister. They were both there that night. So her boss asked me, so what do you think? And I said, she's one of the most beautiful souls I've ever met <laughs> in my life. So she thought I'm talking about my wife's sister when I was talking about my wife. And then I found out my wife had a boyfriend at the time. <laughs> and I'm like, what? It's like the classic <laughs> soap opera. Yeah. So I walked away, didn't text, no calls. I figured it out. Wow, we have a communication, miscommunication. And six months later, uh, I was back in Dallas. And we happened to meet up in a group setting. And uh, at the time, it was the pinnacle of my wife's thoughts where uh, she knew that her boyfriend was not going to be the guy that she wanted to marry. Mm. And uh, when we met, that chemistry was even stronger. And uh, we started uh, courting, dating. Uh, and what was really amazing for me, Jesse, what did, why did she say yes? I still like him so thankful she did. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I put a ring on in a cream puff. I got We got a sailboat rental in Santa Barbara, a uh, tray of cream puffs, the one with the powdered sugar. I got her to feed me that one. I finished the cream puff without choking on the ring. And I said, baby, let me kiss your hand. And I put the ring on her finger. And, and the interesting thing was she, in our relationship, for her, why did she say yes? There is one point where she was telling herself and telling God, God, I just want someone to fight for me. And we had an interesting kind of text going on that day. And she had this thought in the shower in Texas while I'm in California, and I call her. And I said, Bay, we've been going out for nine months. I just want to tell you something. I'm going to fight for you. And that, so for her, it was this, I know I love him. Yeah. I know that I could see my life with him. And even my parents are like, do you realize that our son has no arms and no legs? My parents said, what if my, uh, you know, what, what, if, what if our children have no arms and no legs? You know what she said? Even if all five of our kids have no arms and no legs, at least they have a great example to live from. And, and that blew my parents away. On my wedding day, my dad said, son, I just want to tell you, I actually didn't think you'd ever get married. <laughs> and not only did you marry somebody, she's amazing, amazing on the inside now. And for me, Jesse, how did I know that she was the one? In 2008, you know, world economic crisis, right? Yes. I was touched. Uh, by that difficult time in my speaking career. And 2011, I was diversified enough at the time. However, in 2011, I took on too many projects and I had a cash flow crisis. Someone stole 50G from me and, and many projects took twice as long, twice as costly, and revenue wasn't there. And basically was on the brink of just about to fold the for profit. And I got through it, but at that time, I went through panic attacks. I told my wife, we were only dating three months of our relationship into that time, and I said, babe, I lost all my money. Do you know what she said? Don't worry, babe. I'll get a nursing job and support the both of us. Amazing. And that's I'm like, man, I want to marry that woman. <laughs> so, Amazing. That's our love story. Yeah. 